All right. So you like the neighborhood now. You, it, it's working for you now with your, where, where you are in, 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 in your life and whatnot. Is there anything about the neighborhood that you would, would, would change? What would you change about the neighborhood? Um, what would I change? I think that more commercial stuff could be good. Um, I know that it would be nice to, instead of walking back towards 8th Street Southeast, if there was a row that was similar um, f over here in terms of all of the restaurants and little shops and that sort of thing. And I remember when, when Barracks Row was nothing, so um, I know that it, it wasn't built in a day or anything. Um, because I, when I was in college, Barracks Row didn't have restaurants on it and that sort of thing. Um, but um, I know that, you know, I think that trustees and, and places like that on 14th and Pennsylvania, I mean, those are fun spots for people to come. I think it would make it more accessible for other people in other neighborhoods to say like, oh, hey, let's go out and like eat or drink over there. And I think it would, I think it would make it uh, a more of a destination for other people who live here in DC, but maybe in other neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, you see, not that I love tourists or anything, but I know that they're good for the neighborhood in a way. Um, and you know, there are certain places like, you know, Ted's Bulletin on 8th Street, that's become like a tourist destination, who knew? Um, but tourists wanna eat at waffles and you know, there they are. And I mean, if we had something like that over here, I think that would also make people feel like they can walk all the way down Pennsylvania Avenue or come into SOPA and be safe and have some, have a good time. Um, I think that that could benefit. I think that, you know, there's that little construction site happening on the corner of G and 12th and um, they're, they're making that into condos, right? And I think that's really interesting. I'm really, I'm really curious to see what happens with that and how that goes. Um, I mean, I've been watching it go up all winter long. Um, I saw the hole in one of the windows recently, so you know, there's that too. But I'm sure it's pissing people off. But um, it it will be interesting to see what kind of effect that has, because mm -hmm. um, I think that'll be a unique change for the the city block anyway. Mm -hmm. So okay, so 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 if there were more, so it sounds like you're talking about development, right? It sounds yeah. like you're talking about development. That you, you think that it might be nice if there was more, uh, like retail development, more more of the. Um, how do you think? And 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 you think that would be better for the neighborhood? Yeah, I think that would be good for the neighborhood as a whole. Mm -hmm. I think that there are other kinds of development that also would, would benefit the community, certainly. Um, I mean, I think if shared public spaces were maybe landscaped or cultivated in a way that seemed more child-friendly, that maybe seemed, I don't know, more family-centric, I think that it wouldn't be like that weird grassy knoll on the corner where like you only see men hang out. Um, I think things like that can make a difference too. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think? Do you think um, if it were if it were more affordable, do you think this would be the kind of place that you would want to stay when you when you you know after after a family? All right. So so yeah. so. Um, and do you th do you think that the development is going to make it more affordable what, what what would have to happen in order for it to be that way what would have to happen in order for the area to be more affordable it more it more affordable and maybe more family friendly hmm. you know more affordable for families perhaps is what I'm thinking because what because what I was hearing from you yeah exactly was that you know family time comes and it might not be you, you, you think you're gonna be priced out yeah I mean, I think I'm already priced out, mm -hmm. and I think that, um, I, I don't know, I think the idea of making a community safe and welcoming and comfortable, but also economically feasible for a broad range of people, I think that's a huge struggle. Mm -hmm. I think that's... 
Because of course, what am I talking about? I'm talking about bringing in retail. I'm talking about bringing in commercial stuff. That's only going to drive up everything, of course. Um, and it'd be great for me, but it'd probably drive up my rent too. So, um, but I'm not, I would never say that I would want all of that stuff to go away because I mean, that's part of why I live here. Mm -hmm. So it's, I mean, I just feel like it's really hard. It's just hard to know what, what the right move will be. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you think that more development might affect Potomac Gardens? Well, I mean, the same way that spending some time here and living here has made me understand that it's not this like big, scary city block to be feared or avoided. Um, I think that it could have that same effect on other people. If I mean, I think people are unwilling to even get close enough to give the opportunity a chance. And, and I think that it, it would maybe make that more possible mm -hmm. for more people, not just people who live on the block, but you know, people coming by to see X, Y, and Z or. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, okay. So, so you, you figure if there's more traffic that, that if, there's, if there's more traffic well, I'm not sure I'm understanding you. That if there's more traffic, then people would feel more about Potomac Gardens the way that you feel about Potomac Gardens, which is that it's not big and scary. Right. Is what? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I understand. Yeah. yeah I get that. Um, are you? Uh, are you? Um, where did it come? Okay. Yeah, that was going to be so. So people would see that. What about the residents? themselves in, in Potomac Gardens. What do you know about, do you know anything about any of the residents in here besides that they're, that, that it, it, because there's so many of them, it's maybe a little loud when you, you know, you hear, do you know anything at all about the residents? In, in there? Um, I mean, from what I've seen, it's, it's all ages. It's, you know, there are definitely elderly residents here. There are definitely young families. There's definitely young kids. Um, I mean, so, I mean, I know that in terms of the demographics, but mm -hmm. not a lot of other specifics, no. Uh -huh. What do you think would have to, um, how do you feel about the, how do you feel about that, the, the fact that, uh, you know, what you're describing is, is not, is, is I, I hear all over the place that, you know, there's folks outside who don't know anybody in here and the folks inside don't know people on the outside. How do, how do you feel about that? Is that, yeah, how do you feel about that? Is that? I think that one of the biggest improvements would be for there to be less of a divide between Potomac Garden residents and residents in the rest of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I think that, I mean, partially if what I'm saying about retail or even just other kinds of public spaces or other community opportunities, I'm thinking like, I don't know, farmer's market type stuff. Um, we would be out and about together, um, residents merging and, and less, some of us go this way and some of us go this way and that, that sort of thing. 